So in the past, we have made horrible exhausts on this show. Um, today, we're going to make one that's a little bit nicer. The Avalanche needs an exhaust again. Um, that was like two years ago. I just did a crappy quick muffler thing with my crappy welder back there that doesn't really weld that good. Um, so we're going to do a proper exhaust now. Um, I don't have 220, so I can't even use that. So I borrowed my brother's little 110 flux core. Now, flux core is still not the best, but... It's what we got and it's better than nothing. Um, so let's uh, check out what we're gonna do here. Since manifold bolts are broken and the whole, the manifolds are probably just cracked. I got some new stainless headers. Um, they're pretty sexy, just two and a half inch collectors. Hopefully they fit. Um, headers for this truck are actually like $780. So these were 450. These are uh, common block hugger swap headers so they should fit um i think they're for like an a body so if they'd work on the beaumont i could put an ls in that um and i got a stainless uh x pipe two and a half inch and then that's everything that's shiny and stainless um i got those at the local performance shop i got that on amazon for like 70 dollars and then i got just a generic two and a half inch uh amazon kit um, I think that was another $250. Um, and then we're not going to use all this old crappy stuff, but we are going to use these bottles. These are the ones off of my big monster truck, Nasty Bitch. Um, so they should sound mean on here. Truck is safely up high and got my special exhaust removification tools. Good to go first major issue on part of why i'm replacing the exhaust is this mess um exhaust broke while we were in bc on vacation and it was hanging off the axle and melting the uh cladding which my wife was sad about we got another piece so we'll be good to go but i hung it up with a strap because we were in the middle of nowhere strap melted put another strap on made it into town bought some tie wire and held it up but uh damn construction is noisy now that we're done being interrupted yeah it's broke off mostly there uh, keep scooching down this mount is all broken and i think a mount up there is broken um I think the gaskets at the manifolds are all popped out because it's really loud up there. It's getting louder. And I definitely have manifold leaks. So we're going to just start new. And we're going to go dual with new headers. Um, and I think the cats are clogged. Uh, the truck keeps getting all sorts of codes for uh, too lean. And I've replaced the O2 sensors. Um, when I go up to like 4,000 RPMs, it starts misfiring and throwing a misfiring code. Um, so I don't know if that's something else or if cats are crapped at crapping out. Um, but we're going to start cats because it needs a new exhaust anyways. So we'll take all that out and see if the problem goes away. Or if it creates new ones running with no cats. Whole exhaust is cut off right to the back of the transfer case now. Um, just kind of looking at everything else, trying to figure out a plan. So I do have exhaust bungs I still have to deal with. Um, or O2 bungs, I apologize. 
Um, exhaust plugs, whatever. Um, and then there's two in front of the cats, one up there and one up there. Um, but the headers have a bung for those right in the collector. So they'll probably be able to thread those ones into there. Um, this piece, because it's so nicely formed along here, I think I'm going to keep that because I have to put the whole exhaust on this side because this side does not have space because of the gas tank. So even though I'm going true dual, or not true dual because it's got an X pipe, but even though I'm going dual, uh, this side still has to cut across to here. So I think I might use this whole piece. It's still in pretty good shape. Just kind of cut off there and cut off up there and then use this chunk. And then, uh, but instead of tying the two in, it's just going to keep going straight back. Um, I'll probably put the X pipe somewhere in here or maybe even further back. I might put it here. I guess we should see how it sounds at this point. This is a cold start. <laughs> Been sitting all night. Don't want to rev her too much. She's cold, but uh, that sounds awful. Which, actually, that's how, like, half the trucks in Alberta sound. <laughs> and people think it sounds good, though. I got a loud truck! Um, yeah, you got a loud truck, but it doesn't sound nice. It just sounds loud. There's a difference. Cats are out! I guess we'll see uh, how she runs and how she sounds with only two O2 sensors hooked up. And uh, pretty much, like, four inches of exhaust. Anybody else's uh, Chevy not like the key? <laughs> Sounds like I'm building a damn derby car. I miss building derby cars. Um, that still sounded horrible. It was super loud and sounded horrible plugs are all out here's what they look like um this one here is a little one i believe i didn't pay quite attention i think that one's not uh cylinder one i think that one is cylinder three i did notice cylinder three was loose and this thing likes to spit plugs so maybe that's part of our misfiring too um and then i discovered way at the back here right under the trouble light there's also another bolt that's broken on the manifold or just not in it and there's the one i knew about on this side and the other the passenger side has the front one like that too but i didn't know about the back one but now uh now i do and i guess i'll uh hopefully they're just missing and they're not broken because that would suck so it's like worst possible situation. The bolt's broken off in the front there. I uh, don't know if you can really see it on here. It's all right. Ow. There. Let's see if we can try to get the camera down in here and see. Where the hell am I? Yeah, there's the bolt broken off in there. And the rear is the same. So um, the only way to really get those out is drill in and get some easy outs in there. And I'm not getting a drill in here. Um, I'm not removing stuff to get in there either. So I think I'm just going to bolt it on. Missing some. Sorry, Avalanche. Um, yeah, and then if we ever need to pull this apart for some reason, then, then I'll do it. But as of right now, nope. Headers are in on both sides. Um, I had to modify the dipstick tube to get the other one out because I couldn't get the dipstick tube out. It seized in and I didn't want to wreck it and replace it. So I just cut the bracket off of it and went up with the manifold and then came from the top with the header. Um, this side, as you can see, the uh, 
or any cooler line is kind of in the way. I might be able to bend that back just a little bit. Um, the other side is a little bit more problematic, but still doable. Uh, this side fits in nicely, but kind of lines up about yeah, there. There's straight back with the the uh, drive shaft, but I do have room so I can kind of just whoo, S it out. And since this is IFS, these don't move. So uh, yeah, I just got to move it over like two inches, not even inch, inch and a half, and we'll be good. So I just got to S it around there and then connect it to my cross pipe that side just kind of straight down and it should be good so as much as i'm crunched for time and got to get this done um, i also want to take my time and make sure it's right especially since i got to plan ahead in case i got to put uh cats in it um so far i got just uh those bolted up to the collector um Got my O2 sensor hooked up on this one. That one, the O2 sensor, I may have to buy one because I can't get it out of the manifold. Uh, well, the chunk of behind the manifold. Uh, and then, I said earlier, I wanted to reuse this cross pipe. So I got it clamped up uh, with just some scrap. Well, trailer hitch, but. And so I have it level with the cross member, um, parallel with it and as far over and back as i can with leaving room for the transmission cross member and uh tranny pan i don't want anything hitting you got to remember this does move um i've pried these back they're still a little close i don't like that but uh that might kind of have to be it is what it is for now and maybe reroute some tranny cooler lines in the future if it causes problems um, I don't think it will be too much of a problem. And then this side is going to go from there to there. So it's not too bad. Um, if I miter this, I, I, I know it's better to have nice bends. This will have to be just a miter and a miter. Um, but it is what it is. So we're going to start simple for the driver's side. And I'm just, I'm not measuring any angles or anything. I don't have any fancy tools here for that um i barely have any tools unpacked in this garage like i don't even have clamps to clamp this down um so it's all going by eyeball and a tape measure um going an inch in and then just mitering it off and then i'll spin that around and then it will double whatever angle that is which should kind of roughly be like a 30 degree angle i'm guessing and then i will do the same to that guy and it will eh, eh. but i'll have to measure it to see how far out it goes first because i got to get it about two and a half inches that way and then once i get that then we'll worry about height and length um the other side i just crammed one of these onto here at kind of a cockeyed angle because it needed to come out on the passenger side and that seems to kind of work i do need to um tweak it up actually i forgot i tossed it out from under the truck so i can do that it needs a little bit more of a pie cut the uh 45 is not quite there it needs uh maybe 50 55 it doesn't need a lot just a little bit so i think just take a little bit of a pie cut out and tweak it up and then re-weld that and that side should be good so they're just kind of mostly tacked together and then i did a test pass there um there now that's angled and now we can uh angle the next one so when this was under the truck i decided that it needed to go an entire width of the exhaust over so now what i did was i kind of lined this up and drew a line straight across and where it met on the top is where I drew my line for where now I need to work. And now I can angle off of that one, flip it around and angle it 